when opening a file, mm, things might go wrong. For example, when you're trying to open a file and you give it the na name of a file and the file doesn't exist, then Perl won't be able to open it for reading. Or if you don't, if you, the file exists but you don't have the permission to open it to read it, then it will it will fail. So Perl, the open function of Perl, will return either true or false depending on what happened. And uh, you should handle that uh, cases and uh, make sure that we will only try to read from the file if the open succeeded. So the way people can write it, one of the ways people write it, is uh, putting the open call in an if statement. So the condition, we see, the condition of the if statement is actually the open call, which will return either true or false. If it returns false, then we get to this else block and we will print out warn and some warning. If, we are, if it's the success, if it's successful and the, the open is um, returned true, is returning true, then it will get in this part and then it, you do something here, probably reading the file and so on. And you actually don't have to explicitly close the file at this point because when you, when Perl uh, continues and when this variable gets out of the scope and this is the scope of the variable, then it automatically, Perl will automatically close that file. So you don't have to explicitly co close it here. But what happens when, the, when, it, when it fails? So one of the open fails and we print out warning and what we have in the warning is two things. One of them is the dollar file name within a single quote. So this single quote is, I think mentioned, I mentioned earlier, it do, it's not civic, significant for Perl, it's significant for us. Because now when uh, we get the error message, we'll see the file name within single quotes. And that can be very important. I remember uh, we had a system somewhere where we got the file name, uh, someone typed it in, and then we couldn't open it, and it will keep kept printing out the file name, the name of the file, and we checked it that the file was there, and we had the right, and, and we didn't understand the point, until we put these quotes uh, around it, or some other mark, doesn't really matter, and then we found out that at the end of the name of the file, there is actually a space. Or maybe there was a tab, I don't remember. Anyway, uh, the point is that if you don't have some mark around the name of the file, around the name of the variable, then you can easily miss that there might be white spaces, new lines, whatever, uh, at the end of the file, and then you will see that the file, it seems that the file is there while you're not trying to open that file. Anyway, so that's just the single quotes. Uh, the other thing here is this uh, dollar exclamation mark. This is one of the strange uh, variables, internal variables of uh, Perl. So when the open fails, it just tells you whether it, it was it, that it failed. It doesn't tell you what happened, why does it fail. The operating system does give you a more detailed uh, error message, and that error message is actually in this variable. So if you, you open the file and you would like to see what was the actually problem, then put this variable there. Now obviously that's not always good. So it, depen it depends who is running your script, who is reading this output. If it's someone who can deal with this problem in a good way, then probably it's better to include both the name of the file and the error message. Otherwise it might just confuse them. So otherwise, you might want to give something, oh, it didn't work, uh, and uh, write the name of the file and the error message in a log file somewhere, where you, the maintainer or, or someone who is maintaining this, the, the program, can handle it. There is another way to open the file, and we'll talk about it in the next lecture.